Hello everyone, today we are unboxing my spring FabFitFun. I'm so excited. This box is seasonal, so it only comes summer, spring, winter, fall. Um, so I'm always really anxious to see what I get inside my box because it's a little bit more than makeup. It's definitely like lifestyle and health and I really look forward to this box because it gives me something different. I've gotten some really nice blankets, I've gotten some really nice like shawls, and I don't know, I just, I really look forward to this. So let's go ahead. I have not opened it at all. It is still all taped up because I did not want to spoil it for anybody. Now I did have a couple add-ons and I didn't know if those would be like right away in this box. So that's why I didn't open it. I wanted to share this with you guys. Okay. So so let's start with the first one. Um, I actually enjoy what I have from this brand and I wanted to expand it a little bit. So I have the, now if I murder the name, I'm so sorry, but it's the Kaja uh, stamp. This is a stamp blush. At first when I had gotten this, I'm like, oh my gosh, no way I'm gonna love this, but I freaking love this. So you open it up and it has a little stamp inside. The top part is the actual like cushiony part and you just stamp on your blush and then blend it out. Beautiful, so easy to apply. Um, so when I saw that they had a couple things on there from this brand, I was super excited and knew I had to order it. So this is the Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. So this has three different shades and this one is in Toasted Caramel. It's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> don't know why I thought it would be the same size as the stamp um, but this is the packaging right here and you open sorry you open up each one and it has an eyeshadow inside so these are all shimmers did I know I don't even know if I knew that but so you have the top shade right here and then you can close that, open it up. There is the second shade. And then there is the third shade right there. Really, really pretty colors. Kind of gives me that summery vibe. So yeah, I don't know. I'm still interested to try them and see how their shimmers work out. Because I know they do have other uh, ones that do involve like one shimmer and two mattes. So hopefully I can get one of those in the future. The next item from them I got was their Bouncy Blendable Highlighter. This is in the shade Toy Allen. Alright. This is what the packaging looks like. And then you just kind of lift this up. And it even comes with a little mirror. That's kind of cute. So uh, there is the highlighter. Let's go ahead and give this a swat. Oh, it feels very soft. So there is the shade. Super pretty. Oh, mm, I like that. Oh, I'm happy to play with that one. <laughs> See, I also got this um, nail strengthening polish. I have one that I've been trying and it's just not doing the job. So, so ever since the quarantine, my job has been about bleach everything and it is literally killing my nails. Like I can just fairly touch something and they are breaking from just constantly having to stick my hand in bleach water and it sucks. <laughs> um, I haven't always had the best nails, but they are probably the worst that they have ever been. So I'm desperately trying to find something to help my nails grow and not be so dang brittle. And I, I'm so embarrassed to show you guys, but like this thumb right here, I don't know if you can see, it is terrible. And uh, it keeps breaking off and it keeps cracking. And I, I don't know, I'm willing to try anything. So. This is the Original Formula Maximum Strength OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. Um, like I said, I do have one. I don't remember where I, I think it's in my car. Um, and it, it, it's just not working like a nail strengthener. So this I've heard is a really, really good brand. So I'm desperate to try it and see 
if it will help. So um, I will be using this in the next couple weeks. This was an accidental purchase. I had put it in my um, my cart and I forgot about it and I meant to like get rid of it, but I didn't. So <laughs> here we are. It is a uh, little coin pouch. I do have one. It's kind of like a clasp uh, pouch, but it's kind of very, very old and tearing apart. So. Uh, um, that's why I had originally put it in my cart, but it was like $12. I'm just like, that's kind of expensive for a little pouch because I paid like a dollar for mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's cute. It comes with like a little keychain. Not that I would put this on my keys because my keys are heavy enough. Um, but it is cute. It is cute. It's lightweight. Um... Yeah, so I'll probably be transferring to this. And also, I do like the fact that it's a little bit bigger because sometimes my little coin pouch gets lost in my purse and I cannot find it when I need it. And I end up just not using the change. And um, if it's bigger like this, then I'll probably be able to find it a lot easier. So I'm actually still kind of glad that I went ahead and got it. When I was going through my choices, I could not decide between two of the choices in one of the categories. Uh, this was one of the products that I knew I had to have it because it was on a huge sale. And this stuff always gets sold out on like Ulta sales and everything. And it's super expensive. So I was really excited that I had only got it for like $15. Uh, this is the Pericone MD Essential, um, some fancy words. <laughs> rejuvenating moisturizer so I've heard that this brand is really good like I said they always sell out in the Ulta sales um, so yeah I'm super excited to try this this is what the packaging looks like very fancy ooh the smell is not that great oh gosh it smells like tanning lotion tanning salon it smells like a tanning salon is it supposed to smell like that oh <coughs> I don't know if I can stand to rub that all over my face oh my gosh I will have to read I want to read a little bit more about the reviews because if, if it's supposed to smell like this then I will definitely try to use it but that smells like a tanning salon. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and the last thing I ordered um, to get a little bit more organized with my like my loose blushes and stuff is the uh, bl bronzer and blush organizer. <laughs> um, this was on sale, and you know these little containers and stuff that we use to organize our desks and everything else are always so expensive. So with it being on sale, I knew I had to get one. So this is what it looks like right here. It's actually really pretty. I wish I would've got two. Um, and then I could've replaced my uh, my Dollar Tree one because it's just like a little, let me show you guys. It's just like a little plastic bin. Um, but this is definitely much more fancy. Who knows, if they have it on sale again next time, I will definitely grab another one. I really like that. All right, so on to the main event, our Fat Fit Fun Spring Box. It's very light. There's like no weight to this at all. Sometimes when I get these boxes, it's like super heavy and it's taking everything in me to hold it up, but that is not the case This um, on this box. So we open it up. Um, it has a $15 off code for your first box. I'll hold this up. I don't know how many times um, people can use this or if you can only use this once. So whoever gets to it first can definitely have it. So there is the code right there if you want to try a box. Um, they gave us some really cute stickers. This is not a part of the box. It's just something that was thrown in. It's super cute. I love it. And of course, the magazine that tells us about all the products inside, how much they are, how to use them, and etc. etc. And of course, some coupons. And it doesn't look like I have a lot of stuff. Usually, I this box is like packed full. Look. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
let's get started. So the first item is some coasters. All right, so this is what they look like. It's like little woven pieces. Um, they're okay. They're very, very cheap filling. <laughs> um, I, I don't know with all the stitching in the middle, if like this one, I can see a cup sitting on top of this one with like all the stitching and the, the bumps all over it. There's high pieces and there's low pieces. I don't see a cup like sitting on it perfectly. Um, and same thing goes with these. Well, this one actually seems okay, but this one definitely is a little bit higher in some places than others. But um, I mean, I can always use extra coasters. I did just buy some for my living room. Coasters are actually kind of expensive uh, for really nice ones, but uh, I could definitely use these as backups and maybe put one in my uh, bedroom, one in here. So eh, it's okay. The next item we have is tweezers with pouch from Summer and Rose. Uh, I actually only have one pair of tweezers and I've been meaning to buy a backup pair, so I'm super excited to have this. So this feels really, really lightweight. Um, I like a little bit more weight to my tweezers. I actually have the ones from Revlon. These are really freaking good tweezers. Um, my friend, uh, Nicole, actually recommended these to me. Love them. Um, they are very small, so it'll be easy to kind of tweeze my brows with. Uh, so I do like that and it does fit nicely into the pouch, so. That's cool. What is this? Okay, so I believe that this was a choice item. Yes, okay, so this is a watch. Um, I've been wanting a watch. <laughs> I could just go buy one, but I don't know. I've been wanting a watch and um, I saw this on there. I was like, oh, it's so cute. And I love Rolls Gold, so this was definitely right up my alley. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Only problem is, is I hope that it fits. Okay, so it definitely fits. There's a little bit more room. I could tighten it a little bit more. I just needed the bands to like straighten out. Um, but it's very pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm happy with that. And it does come with like a little case. So when I take it off, I can put it away so it doesn't get like all scratched up. So yay. Okay, so the next item we have is from Earth Harbor. This is the Biome Brightening Impole. I don't know what that is. Um, is named for the treasured ocean blue botanicals she possesses. She possesses um, concentrated adapt genic oils that vigorously brightens and balance for an even radiant complexion. Okay, what is it? <laughs> uh, apply two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning. So this is plant-based, no GMOs, vegan and cruelty-free. It says fair trade, sustainable, no gluten added, no soy added, small batch made, women owned. Okay. Uh, we'll look into this a little bit later in the booklet, but, ooh, it's pretty. I like the packaging, very simple, um, but still like kind of nice. <laughs> so this is what this is right here. So it doesn't exactly say what it is, like it says what it does. It says that it's uh, for balance and even radiant complexion. But as to what it specifically is, I guess we will find out. So, interesting. The next item we have is the Be Your Incredible Self Nails Ink London um, Nail Polish. It's a really pretty color, definitely pretty for like spring. Um, so I might actually use this on my pedicure next. So. Nice. Then we have Suns Out, Pouts Out, four pack of gold foil lip masks. So these are vegan lip masks. 
I actually enjoy lip masks. I think they're kind of fun to do. So I'll probably, I'll keep two and do two in my next giveaway. Um, so these are fun. Another item we have is actually supposed to be a two piece item. These are MAC lipsticks. Yes, right up my alley. I love MAC lipsticks. Uh, these are in the shade Reverence and work, work, work. <laughs> so let's open these up and see exactly what these shade colors look like. I only own two MAC lipsticks um, in like a red shade and they're teddy shade or something like that. Oh, here they are. Velvet Teddy and Fresh Brew. And actually, oh no, I have one more. It's in the shade Russian Red. So I have three MAC lipsticks. Um, I like the packaging on these. They're kind of like velvet to the touch. So this is the Reverence. It is like a bright pale pink. So this is the shade right here. Mm, I don't know if that would be for me. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I should try pink and see how it looks. And then, oh, this is a nice red. So this is the work, work, work shade. I've actually grown quite fond of red shades, so I will definitely be keeping that one. And last but not least, this is a cosmetic organizer case. So um, that's cool that this is in here because I am still in the process of like organizing my makeup room. I feel like I should be done by now. Um, I've been in my house for a little while, but I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like I also never get the chance to when I want to. So this is really cute. It's super small though. Uh, fits about six lipsticks, a couple pieces in the back, and like a nice little big piece of here. I do like the fact that it has like little daisies. That's cute. So it makes it fun and just kind of like cute and pretty. I like it. I'm definitely going to be able to use this over here in my lipstick area and put some more of my loose lipsticks right here. So I'm happy with that. And that is everything. So let's go ahead and open up our book and see just exactly how much this bad boy is worth. So in the first set of categories, we have the watch. Uh, which is set to be at $105. <laughs> I know watches are expensive. I just, I would never, really, never, maybe $30 I would purchase a watch with because everybody pretty much just use their phones now uh, to check the time. But I don't know, I kind of like the aesthetic of it. So like I said, $30, $40 is something I would pay. I don't know if I'd quite go up to $100. Maybe that's just me being cheap. I'm fine. I can live with that. So first product, $105. Okay. And then let's see, we got the coasters, which are $35. Mm, I don't think they're worth $35. I think they're more worth like 15, maybe 20. 35 is pushing it a little bit. Uh, we have the two matte lipsticks for $42. The organizer for $30. See, I believe that because organizers, no matter how small, are freaking expensive. They're expensive at Ross. They're expensive everywhere. They are so freaking pricey. It's ridiculous. Um, the tweezers are $20. Okay. My Revlon's were a little bit cheaper, I think. The, uh, the blue oil is $38. Skincare is kind of expensive, so I believe that. Uh, the lip uh, the lip masks, let's see, $16. I can believe that. I got four of them, so that seems about accurate. The nail polish was $15. Hmm. That's about accurate, right? I don't really buy nail polish all that much, so. Uh, I, oh, I kind of wish I would have got these puffy uh, face cleanser things instead of the nail polish. That would have been nice. Darn it. Okay, so that is everything, and my total comes out to $301 for this box. That is not bad at all, considering this box is only $49.99. Um, obviously, it is a, just a tiny bit cheaper for me because I do buy 
I do go ahead and buy a whole year subscription. Um, you get like a, maybe $10 a difference when you pay a year versus like every single season. Um, so I do it that way. Anything to save. <laughs> Anything to save. So, so is this the best box I've ever received from Fat Fit Fun? I mean, no, I've definitely gotten better boxes, but I still think this is a good box. I'm still really happy with the products in here. There might be one or two that kind of like, eh, okay. But the other ones I'm still so excited for. So I love this watch. I'm definitely going to be wearing this like all the time. So excited. It's so pretty. Oh, I love rose gold. Um, the MAC lipsticks. I love MAC lipsticks. Uh, the lip masks, those are fun. The tweezers, I wanted those. The coasters, eh. I, I could have got something else and been fine. Uh, the nail polish, I'm not really into nail polish. I do have pedic I do ped pedicures every month, um, but I don't really get to paint my nails because of work. But it's still a really pretty color. I can paint my toes, or I know my daughter's gonna <laughs> take it and enjoy it. And of course, the organizer. I mean, these are expensive anyway, so I'm excited to have more of those. That way I can get this freaking room organized. All right, guys, so that's it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you guys either get Fat Fit Fun, you've had it, you want it, um, whatever the case may be, let me know down below, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.